Hi guys, this is Paris. I am back with another video today. As you can see, um, a lot of skincare products right here. I will be doing my skincare routine. Um, I'm gonna be just showing you guys a little bit about um, the products. We're just telling you about the products that I am using and why I use them. And then you'll just see the process of me cleaning my face. So if you wanna know how I clean my face, just make sure you watch this video. Also make sure to thumbs up this video, like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah. Okay guys, so I am back. So um, the first product that I'm gonna be using are my cucumber uh, facial cleansing wipes. I did get these from Ross. As you can see, they were $3.99. And um, I really like these. I love the way they smell. Um, so I just take one of them. I just take one of them. They're really like, kind of like foamy. Well, not foamy, but it's like a little soap on it. It smells really good. I just dab it with a little bit of water. And then after that, I just wipe my face. And whenever I have on makeup, it gets everything off. So, of course, you can tell I really don't have on makeup. Um, it's probably like a little foundation that I probably just dab under my eye um, because of the dark circles. But I didn't even put a lot as you can see on this white. Ooh, my eyes burning. I don't know what I just did. So yeah, all I do, um, yeah, so all I do is just clean on my face really good with these. Just make sure there's no dirt on my face or makeup left. So this is basically how this looks. So, as you can see, that is how my face looks. I'm just hoping that this lighting is good and that y'all can see my face good. Okay, so after that, the next thing that I do grab is my oil-free acne wash pink grapefruit foam and scrub by Neutrogena. Um, I got this from Walmart, no, I got this from Target. This was about I would say about eight dollars. So I think I don't put too much on my hands. I didn't try to like this much, and then I don't even need that much. And then I just just got it like that. And um, one thing I do like about um, this scrub here is um, you can feel the um, what are those things called? Uh, it's like you can feel the. Um, I don't know what they what it's called but it's like you can feel that it's exfoliating your skin and that it's cleaning it because you oh you can feel the beads inside of it and yes I definitely use too much so what I am going to do is I'm gonna leave this on I always rub it in like this like so and just try to get every area of my face including my eyes because I do wear makeup there So it eventually, I think it eventually, like, yeah, it eventually dries up. So yeah, I'm gonna leave this on for about a good 15 minutes. And then what this is supposed to do is, it's supposed to clear breakouts um, and yeah, just help with your acne. It's like an acne treatment. So yeah, I'm gonna just leave this on for 15 minutes. Like, it smells so good. You guys will love like the smell of it because it smells like straight grapefruit. So you will love that. And yeah, I'm just gonna leave this on for 15 minutes and then after that, I'll be back. Okay, so I did just dry my face um, from after using that um, pink grapefruit scrub. So the next thing that I'm gonna use is 
the African Black Soap. This is a detoxifying and balancing bar soap. Um, it is really, really good um, for clearing up the blemishes and acne or anything that you may have on your face. So right now, when I do get my bumps, sometimes, like, I, I wouldn't say I bust them or anything like that, but I keep messing with them sometimes. So when I do that, it turns into blackheads. So this is really good for that. It's gonna clear up the blackheads and it's gonna just get all those scars and stuff off your face. So um, I will be using the black, this black African soap next. And then I just do it just how I do this, the pink grapefruit scrub. And I don't leave this on for like a long time at all. And I just put it back in the box. The box. Um, the smell is not really that, you know, that pleasant. It doesn't, I don't know. I got, oh yeah, and by the way, I bought this from Whole Foods. It was about, I think about $6. So it is a natural product. Cause you know, Whole Foods do sell all natural things. So I'm gonna leave this on for about, um, about a minute, maybe like a minute and a half. And then just tell you guys what ingredient is in it while I am waiting. So, yeah, the smell is not really that good. So, in this soap, there is, okay, it's combined with shea butter's hydrating properties. It has um, soothing properties of oats. There's aloe and cocoa pod ash to minimize the appearance of superficial skin imperfections. Um, this is a deep cleansing formula, which provides, like I said to you guys, uh, detoxifying exfoliation to reveal radiantly healthy looking skin. So another thing about this is, I think you can even, yeah, you can even use this on your body, but I just use this for my face. I already have other products that I do bathe with. I really just use this for my face. Um, so yeah, those are the ingredients that is inside of this. And as you can see with this soap too, it pretty much just clears up after you have it on for a while. Um, so I don't think it's been a minute and a half yet. But yeah, the smell to this is, is not, uh, yeah, it's not good, but it's okay because, hey, after your skin is clear and you are clean, it doesn't really matter. So yeah, okay, I think it's been like a minute and a half now. So I'm gonna go ahead and wash this off. Just making sure my water is warm. And yes, guys, make sure your water is warm, not too, too cold. Um, I, I like it more on the cooler side than the warm side. It's not really good to like wash your face with really hot, hot water because that wrinkles your skin. The that I am going to use on my face is the Bior Free Your Pores Witch Hazel. My friend actually told me about this product and her face is so pretty and glowy and just her skin, like it's everything. So she actually told me about this product. It was about uh, about $7 almost. It was like $6 and change. Um, I got this from Walmart. I didn't get this one from Whole Foods. I also got this, yeah, I got this from Walmart. Um, it's pore clarifying cooling cleanser. Um, it's, a, it's another acne treatment and um, it deep cleanses and clarifies and refine your pores and it has witch hazel in it, okay? So it clears up the blemishes, penetrates pores to control acne blemishes, help prevent new acne blemishes from forming. Okay, so um, I am gonna wet my face a little because it does say to wet your face. I dried it. So I wet my face a little and then I'm just gonna take like um, just one pump, it's clear. And then I'm gonna do the same thing. Oh, it smells so good. So yeah, after I use that African soap, it's good to just use something like this. Oh, it's strong too. So uh, you gotta be careful not to use too much because it has like that uh, like uh, peppermint Oh, vibe where it's like really strong. Oh, it's burning a little bit too. So I'll put it, I'm gonna put it all on my neck. So 
but I feel like when products burn your face, sometimes it's just doing its job. Now, hopefully, it's not actually burning your face. Okay, so I'm gonna let this sit for about a good five minutes, and then I'll be back. Okay, so I am now about to wash this off my face. Now, what I do know is this is not something that you have to use. Well, I will say, you know what? Actually, it does say to use it every day, but not to use it with so many other products. So what I will say is the pink grapefruit chrome and scrub, you don't have to use every day. Now, I'm just, you know, showing you guys all the products I do use. So that's like the point of this video. But every day, I will not use every single product every day. So I'm gonna let that be known to you guys. Now, the two products that I will recommend to use every day is this one and at least the black soap to clean your face. So see, I used three different cleansers, which were these three. You'll use at least maybe once or twice a week, but these two I would recommend to use once a day, at least. Okay, so now I'm gonna wash this off my face. Okay, so I rinse that off. Oh, I still got some right here. Okay, so I rinse that off. Now there is a uh, um, there's a toner to match this Bior with Hazel, but I don't have the toner because I could not find it in Walmart. And then I was not gonna go to another Walmart and find it because I actually already have a toner that I already use. Um, so I just said I'll just continue to use my own toner until I'm done with it, which I'm almost done. So I use the Neutrogena Alcohol Free Toner. Um, this is a great toner. I've been using it for about the last like maybe six months, honestly. It's really good. I just put a little bit on my cotton ball, just a little. Um, not too much. Just a little bit and then I just wipe my face like that. I just I just kind of pat it on my face. I don't really um just I don't know, rub it like everybody else. I kind of just pat it my face and then I think yeah that's pretty good and then after that I take my I'm actually gonna take <clears throat> just a little bit of my um rose petal rose water um you can this is actually for your whole body not just your face but this right here, it makes my skin so soft, so smooth. This is kind of like a toner as well. Um, it's really, really good. It's from Whole, it, it's from Whole Foods. I'm pretty sure you probably can buy it somewhere else, but yeah, go Google it. It has a lot of great benefits. So I just, this, and then when I use this, I kind of feel like this is kind of like just giving my face like a drink of water. So I'm just gonna spray. I just let that dry and then this moisturizes my face too so I really don't have to put on a moisturizer because it, it really does moisturize my face I don't really know about everybody else but I have um, dry skin so I just use this really as a moisturizer anybody who has I would say um, oily skin this is really good for people that have oily skin just by me reading um, the things on here. And then I think this is pretty good for people with oily skin too. And this is um, this is oil free. So if you do have really oily skin, you can use this. I do have dry skin, but lately it has been, um, it hasn't been being dry. It's been, you know, pretty smooth and moisturizing because of the products that I do use. And then I do use this um, Simply Nature's Organic Coconut Oil. This is really good. You can use this for your hair, your body, your skin, your face, all of that. So what I do is I get a little bit of this and I kind of just put it right here. 
I don't rub it like everywhere. I just rub it in like certain spots where my face gets dry, which is kind of um, my T-zone area. And then I put a little bit here. And really that's it. That's really when my face gets dry a lot. And then I always, um, every single morning, even if I forget at night, every single morning, I moisturize my lips with it and it just has my lips like extra soft, smooth. It makes my lips look even plump, warm. So yeah, that is pretty much what I do. I'm just gonna rub this all the way in. And then it has the, roll, the rose water and the toner on it. So right now my face just feels extra moistened. And then it just feels um really, really soft. Okay, so that is the end of this video, guys. That is how my skin routine goes. Um, if you guys have any questions or anything like that, make sure you just comment down below. Also, make sure to hit the notification bell um, so you are notified every time I have an upload in my next video. I will be doing um, my daughter's hair. Like, because everybody's always asking me how I keep up with my daughter's natural hair so i will be listing the products down below i will be showing you guys how i do her hair every single morning um whether it's in ponytails whether it's just her fro i will be showing you guys each step each pro each product i use is not too many to be very honest it's just quick simple and easy it's just about the stuff that you use and how you use it okay so i will see you guys in the next one peace